Indianapolis Colts have a lot to be excited about after today. Coach Frank Reich was introduced as the 20th head coach in franchise history for the Indianapolis Colts. It's a first time gig for Frank Reich, but he has all the attributes according to everyone who's talked about him, like Tony Dungy and Peyton Manning and others. For Trent Buchanan, Corey Clark here from Lucas Oil Stadium. Trent, an exciting time to be a Colts fan. Yeah, I think everyone's excited. Jim Irsay seemed really excited about the hire. Chris Ballard as well. And uh, Frank Reich seem to be excited to actually be here, not to take a shot at anybody. You know, Frank Reich, he does seem happy to be here. General Manager Chris Bauer had this to say on Frank Reich. He wanted a leader, a guy who has a big picture vision, who's honest, smart, adaptable, can communicate, who's a teacher, and who's a partner. And I have no question that we found that with Frank. Coach Reich is coming here to Indianapolis after coming off a Super Bowl win not even two weeks ago in Minnesota for the Philadelphia Eagles. A big time week for him, now being announced as the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, he had a long week, a little journey. Uh, he said that he told his agent that he wanted to be blacked out. He didn't want any calls, didn't want any texts. And then obviously they won the Super Bowl. And then when he got done, there was no calls, there was no texts. And then the whole debacle with Josh McDaniels happens, and then he gets a phone call. So it's weird how things play out sometimes. It is weird. General Manager Chris Ballard, after the press conference, even admitted Frank Reich wasn't in his top five, not one bit. I don't know if that's to do with him not taking phone calls or what, but General Manager Chris Bauer did say he's kind of shooting himself in the foot for that one, but things work out for the best of reasons. Frank Reich brings this to the Indianapolis Colts. Every person matters, and that every detail matters in building a championship culture. One person at a time, one detail at a time, we will build a championship culture and make this city proud. Former player in Frank Reich, played for the Buffalo Bills, actually owns in NFL history the best comeback in NFL history. Who owns number two, Trent? Actually, it's in playoff history, I believe. But it's uh, Frank Reich, number one, when he backed up for the Bills, when he backed up Jim Kelly, and Andrew Luck when they played the Chiefs here in 2013. From Lucas Oil Stadium, Trent Buchanan, I'm Corey Clark for WFNB.